What's near white? Holy ball crap. So they just strip all the feathers off this drake? That's... That's absolutely bananas. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, this would be an absolute nightmare if these these things were this fast. What's going on over here? A little problem I can solve. Look at the freaking muscles bulge. This is the, there's no difference between this and hulking out. Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve Aberration and what you're seeing in front of you right now is the brand new Players Dino menu and yes, what you're seeing in the bottom right hand corner is correct, it's Aberration Creatures. Aberration Creatures are officially in Players Dino. The start to start off with, we have the Bulldog, Nameless, Ravager, and Rock Drake. Bulldog is one of the ones I think we've all been waiting for mostly. I didn't even think about playing as the Nameless. I just goofed around as one for a second and the powers and options and abilities you get is incredible. This is like the most exciting freaking thing ever right here. So obviously my first video hopping into this was just gonna be me checking it out and everything just to see what the poop is and what's going on but let me know down below. Just kind of leave a like on the video if you guys want me to bring this onto the server and then I guess we just all do a video where there's like 50 of us as bulldogs. I feel like that sounds like <laughs> this is like the best freaking YouTube video ever. Alright, so for starters, we're gonna go in as a little bulldog, so yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more plays Dino, especially more plays Aberration Creatures. It's so funny, I messaged the guy, the developer, I was like, um, his name's, um, Fantastic. I was like, hey bud, um, I would be down if you are- oh, that is just adorable. I was like, I'd be down to, um, to employ your services if you would be down to update the mod and everything. And he's like, no need, dude, I literally updated it half an hour ago. I was like, what? This is incredible. Alright, I didn't expect this to look so amazing, but now I'm kind of in love with these McDonald's colors. Alright, let's do this thing! Oh my god, officially playing as a bulldog. This is so magical. Look at this. Press C to activate your lights. Alright, so here we are. Now this is very special. Obviously, I don't I don't know why I look so much more pale today either. I couldn't even stream yesterday because I was sick and now I look like I'm dying, so I'd be a little concerned if I were you guys, but no, I feel totally fine. See this guy, see the, the Drake and the Ravager is cool. We, we, we could not have spawned in a more desolate area. Although it might be for the best because we are literally bottom of the food chain. But see, things like the Ravager and the Rock Drake, you could always just get on and then type in like Hide Rider or something and then the Rider's invisible. So it's, it's not as magical to me, like even remotely. But this kind of thing, there's no one sitting on top of this bulldog. This is fresh. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, it tingles. <laughs> <laughs> that came out way more weird than I meant it to be. I was experimenting or experiencing turning on a light for the first time for a light pet. Damn! Alright, well, get in my belly. Oh no, bulldogs can't harvest food! How doth we eat? Oh my god. This little poopy shoes might need to be, um... Oh, that's adorable. Might need to be addressed, because eventually we are going to starve to death. But I mean, oh, I just love these just unbalanced little farts. It's weird because bulldogs, like the actual species bulldogs, are, are the most like, I mean they're adorable and amazing, but they're not very genetically superior. They have like sleep apnea, they die in their sleep and everything. So it's weird for nature to actually produce one of these things naturally. I mean it's, it's pure selective breeding on the human's part. Alright, we are a level 1 bulldog. We have 145 health. God, we suck. Oh my god, this is straight up bottom of the food. I can eat, I can eat. Look at the size of this friggin' glow bug. <laughs> These things usually look like these annoying little fireflies you can swat away, but honestly, now I'm getting more of a Starship Troopers vibe now that I'm shrunken. Bring it! Fight to the last breath, Johnny! Yeah! Alright, hells yes, yeah, son. They made us kind of beefy. Which, realistically, you would have to be. Oh, it's adorable. That's also weird, because when dogs or wolves do that, that's a submissive thing, but I guess they just do it when they're happy. These dogs just don't even know what's going on. It's so weird, I'm looking at the camera and I'm like the same tone as the wall behind me. It's like you wouldn't even see me if I didn't have eyeballs, eyebrows, and a mouth. That is just scary. And I get sun too. I play with my dog for like an hour in the sun every day. This is me with sun. I might be dying. <laughs> Which one of you call me a fat ass? Yeah! We're so beefy, it's going to be hilarious. It just sucks we can't harvest food yet though. That's, that's a bit of a wet blanket. I feel like the Nameless. Are the Nameless going to be able to harvest food? I don't know. Actually, you know what's crazy is the Play as Dinos mod has officially made it so you can play as a Nameless before a mod has even made it so you can tame Nameless, which honestly I thought would have been one of the first mods because it's definitely 
now that Shadlos made the the Venator, the Venator, that's how you say it, I think. The um, the new kind of Reaper King tameable that way. All right, we're pretty freaking awesome, but I think existence as a bulldog is somewhat limited until um, until we get a large pack of Asinia. Right now, it's just sweet little bliss existence. Well, this is kind of magical because I feel like this is how. Ah, oh, tripping balls. I was gonna say, I feel like this angle running through this field exactly is how the Star Wars version of my life would start. I mean, if it was a movie, you know? You know what it is, though? I think it's just Oh, we can't jump! Oh, you poor little lumptious bastard. I think it's just because it, for some reason this reminds me of the beginning of Rogue One. You know where this is gonna be fun? See, right now we can't breed yet. I came in as a female specifically to see if the Bulldogs can breed, but this was just implemented and out of nowhere, too. What an awesome freaking mod developer. And especially since, like, I'm pretty sure no one's heard anything about primal survival in a while. I th I'm thinking play as dino might be what we just have. Alright, you cute little lumptious ball of farts. You're adorable and all, but I am freaking dying to play as a nameless right now. Especially since, until, yeah, this is, it's a cute existence, but that's what it is. It's a cute existence. You are a, not even a beta. What are you? You're like a zeta? A zeta predator <laughs> at the very bottom of the food chain. Let's go in as something a little more high up. Let me know down below, by the way, just either comment Bulldog or Nameless, which one you like more, because I'm doing a little experience. basically decides one of the next videos. So yeah, comment either Bulldog or Nameless. See, the Ravager, these things are dope too. I actually do want to play as a Ravager really bad. But um, these two, this, these two are very special. I know so many of you got to agree with me. So here we are as the Nameless. Oh my god. Disgusting. I've never even seen a beautiful colored Nameless. What's Bigfoot? Oh, Zam! That's awesome! Wow, there's so many color options. This is... This mod is so amazing. I'll check out Dragon... Oh, Dragon Fire is beautiful. Wow, there's so many custom color creations. It's not just like the standard... I guess it loops over once you get down there. A Wyvern Blue? Oh my god. I could do this forever. Dragon Basil. Ah, oh, that just sounds more delicious than beautiful, if anything. Ooh, Dragon Green! Something about red creatures just looks so insanely crazy to me. All right, let's make sure we spawn way in a different location. Let's go um down to the lower. No, forget the mushroom forest. I'd like to go down to the edge. Yes, perfecto. And then we'll just like try and make it onto a tree branch or something. All right, sweet. Going in as a nameless for the first time ever. This is crazy. I've been waiting for this longer than I've been ever since Aberration was like peaked way back in like October or whatever. Um, I've been waiting for this specifically. Look at us, dude. We're a nameless. That is crazy. You were so cute and actually very agile. Crap, I didn't read what it said. How do you burrow down? Oh, it's space bar. Going to the space jam. I don't think you can burrow in the, burrow in the water, right? You never can with... Oh, zim, we can completely. Where'd my hot bar go? Oh, it's all just disabled whenever you go in the water. Dude, this is so cool, and the craziest power of the Nameless I'm about to whip out right now is I display pure domination upon these ninnies. Oh, I don't know how to get back out of the ground. Yeah, I appear to have bugged it. I was gonna say, there's no way there wouldn't be an issue going in the water underground. That's like, an issue. even even with the Basilisk, it makes you come out of the ground when you go in the water. All right, little buddy, let's avoid that little mishap once more. That kind of stuff is what's gonna make the server crash and we do a multiplayer video <laughs> And during those plays, Dino, whenever you get a buttload of people on there, the server always crashes once or twice. But it just takes a minute to boot back up, and it's so insanely worth it. Alright, um, which way I guess I should break down, or I guess I could try and... Go I wonder what kind of fall damage these bad boys take, actually. I appear to have absolutely no hot bar when playing as this guy. It's all just like, okay, well, my stamina's drained. He has absolutely no health at level 1. He's a little, bit, a little weedy, probably gonna buff him up a little bit. Oh my god, look at that with increased movement speed. These things would be absolutely terrifying if they were any freaking faster. Can I really not bite down the mushroom? It just takes a few bites. Alright, but we can gather meats. Confirmed. That's damn fancy. What's going on, buddy? You look like my weird parent or something. This is a bit of a risky one. Oh god, we're just like his child. There you go, underground. Oh, dig back up, dig back. Okay, it's time to beefcake. You wanna fight? Time to hulk out. Look at that right there now. Way bigger. What is up, dude? That was beautiful. You see that right there? You see that? You get called out and you hulk out and you kick some serious butt. I don't even think we can go back into our normal form, but we are the alpha now. Why would we ever want to? 
How crazy is that? Just press C and then you become the alpha nameless? That's... That's straight up bananas right there. This is a creature I literally never thought I'd be able to play as, but it's just, you just hulk out. Come on, don't die, you disgusting little rat. Oh, oh, we took a lot of damage, I think. We took a reasonable, we repair. Yeah, it's just basic vanilla repair. That, that would make sense. We're not like some modded creature. We're playing as a vanilla nameless. Oh, I love, see, this is what's great about the play as Dynamod, as opposed to just getting on top of a creature and hiding the rider, is the play as Dynamod registers you as this creature. I could peacefully walk past Ravagers right now, because Ravagers don't just randomly attack Nameless like they do players. Makes it way more fun and realistic. You know what's funny is I've been so focused on my surroundings, I didn't even realize we were no longer the Alpha. Like, you just, you, it's a temporary Hulk out, which makes it so much better. All right, right down to the neighborhood I wanted to go. Revisit this place, but this time I'm the annoying little nameless. Oh god, one of them's already coming for me. Two of them! It's time to hulk out, Johnny! He hulked out before me, now I can't do it! Oh my god, run for your life. Yeah, you gotta hulk out, Johnny, you gotta- Oh my god, I just can't do it. What, do you just get one shot per life or something? One load? Did I blow my load? I feel like I need to, um, hulk out to beat these guys. Damn it, I just can't do it! Alright, whatever, fine, I'll fight him as immortal. It's never fun to fight things as mortals. It is awesome you have the option to go back in the ground, though. Like, peace! And then I just kind of peacefully remain here, right? No, right now I'm kind of stuck in the ground right here. What's going on there? Whoa, Jesus, we're in his food chain! Oh my god, the Alpha's so much bigger than us! The Karkonos will kick the crap out of us. That's, that's just a thing. Can you guys actually attack me if I go in the ground? Yes! Nope, no they can't. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Suck my nards! Although I really can't mobilize that much, I'm, I'm pretty much stuck here. If anything, I've screwed myself. Oh, that's great! Here you go, focus on each other! There's a troubling amount of nameless building up around here. This is what I see if I was a bulldog, this wouldn't happen. I would have lit my area up. A little concerned to kiss how I'm supposed to go, how I'm supposed to approach this from here. I mean, in the Disney movies, they just be like, all right, we're ready to, let's take a few with us, and then they just leave and they kill them all, but I think it's going to be down like that. Oh, Jesus. That was stupid. I tried to jump, and I went back underground. All right, go, 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 quick, go, quick, go, quick, go, quick, go, quick, go, quick, go, quick. There is no escaping it. I'm, um, I'm a little out of options, ladies and gentlemen. They can sense that I'm not a natural born nameless, and they don't like it. You guys are dicks! They're out! Go out swinging, Johnny! Oh. My. God. Obliterated. Obliterated! Damn it! Look at it at the very end, they cast the soul of the human inside the Nameless out. Hence why they smelt me. You know what? Maybe now I will commit to something a little bit bigger. Get a little more respectacles up in this BZ. With these guys, I always feel like I'm copying Syntac whenever I do anything Cyan because it's it's his signature color, but it's so pretty. But no, you gotta you gotta make your own way in this world, Johnny. Perhaps piss yellow. Yes, that's much more my personality ish. All right, let's go into. You know what? He looks kind of cool. Bumblebee luckily brought some respect back to the color yellow. Urination had ruined it and just tainted it for so long. Dude, Ravagers are actually I would love to be a lone pack of Ravagers. See, you don't have- Oh, damn it! That's the problem with creatures that separate your soul from your creature, man. Megalos. Megalos and Capros. Avoid those at all costs. You know what? Maybe now I want a little respect. Maybe now it's time I go visit a creature that gets a little bit more respect. There we go. Claim that pea yellow, Johnny. Hang on. Some of these are actually downright fancy. What's near white? Holy ball crap, so they just strip all the feathers off this drake? That's, that's absolutely bananas. Hang on a second. Wait, no, go back to the, what, what just happened? It has to be a glitch, right? This isn't like some new kind of, what, whatchamacallers? Hang on a second. This is crazy. Is this what we look like now? Are we a featherless rock drake? We're an abomination. Oh no, the feathers loaded in, I was gonna say, cause that would be the craziest thing ever right there. Hey, uh, maybe if I go that, hang on, I gotta try that once more. I got cause that one color, that near white, made the feathers disappear. I got, and then I went in near black at the end, which maybe it just wasn't reloading. If there's a chance I could do this, I gotta do it. Near white feather. God, that looks so cool. Look how cool the rock jake looks without feathers. 
I mean, the feathers look super awesome too, but it's just nice to see a little diversity. It looks like a giant creepy ass lizard, dude. Wow, you know what? Now that we've seen it, you know, it's it's easy to add. Oh, the feathers stay. It's easy to add body parts. It's not easy, but it's doable to add body parts to a creature. I'll bet it's very easy to take things from a creature. I mean, I wouldn't say, I think it would just be like, it would be a different kind of drake. Let me know what you guys think below. If we just remove the feathers and make it a different species, that's just faster, on, like a little faster on land, a little faster swimmer, a little faster at climbing, but can't glide. It has no feathers. And we just call it like a, a water drake or I don't know, something, a, a wall drake. Yeah. I wonder if the mod's updated enough to where we, the person on the creature, I mean like the soul inside the creature, Yep, it's not updated enough, crap balls. Yeah, that's that's one thing that's gonna need to be tweaked for shizzle. Because unlike with the uh, nameless and with the bulb dog, this might this kind of still registers as a person on the back of it who is invisible, whereas the others don't register with that whatsoever because a person could never be on the back of those little things. There's no way in in a hail I'm not going back. You know what? I'm kind of into this yellow thing. There's no way I'm not going back in as a freaking um. Uh, say, let's go into the upper mushroom or the lower bush. No, the upper mushroom. Yeah, the upper mushroom for us. Let's go into here. I just want to hulk out and beat up some more creatures as a nameless. Like, see how this, how this subscriber video is going to go down. This would be like us. This would be us hanging out. Like, subscribe to this. <laughs> Everyone's generally going to go in as freaking nameless and bulldogs. I, obviously, some people might go in to seem like cool and overpowered as a drake or something. But all the cool people are going to be, oh, I dismounted. You really gotta be careful what you do with these little guys. They're so fresh and early that there's many ways to mess with the shizzle. Alright, so us basically is a level 1 nameless. Yeah, dude, we're so freaking weak. It's amazing we're able to give the players such a hard time. It's basically just because we have like zombie tactics. There's infinite of us. We never stop going at them and we're just repeatedly to where it's like, oh yeah, we can kill a few easy. But after a couple days of repeated bombardments and attacks, then they start to take a bit of a toll. I love yellow, dude. I'm all about this yellow guy. <laughs> it's yellow and black. Yellow and black's also. Awesome. I feel like we're like the Camaro of uh, Nameless. Alright, I want to see what happens when these things go. I'm trying to make the most agile little chupacabra monster on the friggin' planet right now. That's essentially what these are. Look at him when he levels up. He does like the whole Reaper animation. That's crazy. Oh yeah, this would be an absolute nightmare if these, these things were this fast. What's going on over here? A little problem I can solve. Look at the freaking muscles bulge. This is the, there's no difference between this and hulking out. It would appear that you only get like one shot with it though, so use it use it well. Like I don't. It's like I I wouldn't even know which. There's so many analogies to put towards this, which blend in with it perfectly, but I wouldn't even know which to choose. I wonder how long it lasts, and I need to keep an eye on it this time. Last time I kind of just faded away. Cause when we're like this, we're like huge! Beating the crap out of Stegos and stuff. We're a very powerful creature. We're essentially this guy like a few million years forward when he's able to walk and do stuff. But at some point we're gonna shift back down in a mortal version. And then you can't shift back up. Let me know if you guys are curious if that's- I'm, Actually, I'm curious no matter what. I think I'm gonna find out if that's- If you only get one shot, one load to blow and then you're back to like- Or if you just legit have to let it charge for long periods of time. I mean- I don't see it on here as an option, like, oh, we just went back to normal. Oh, God. I guess you just gotta really use it carefully in this world, man. You don't blow your load quickly, basically. It's, it's, it's basically, you're just a bumblebee, I assume, for the most part. And your whole life is you're just waiting for that one fight, that one epic fight where you just have to prove yourself. Dude, creatures are so freaking scarce around here. Now, this would be an epic match. A nameless versus a scorpion. I imagine some, like... Holding back the stinger like some giant claw, like some craziness. You're the perfect size comparisons. Ooh, the great white bulb dog. See, that sounds almost kind of racist. It's because of the shark, all right? Jesus. Everyone's so sensitive these days, you know? Um, ooh, God, it looks so fun. I'm so happy we finally have the option to customize these. This is awesome. See, I wish feathers disappeared on this little guy when he chose that color, but unfortunately, it doesn't even have feathers to begin with. I am now the world's fastest, most playful little bulb dog. See, even this existed. Oh, that's just beautiful, buddy. 
I wonder if you have the option to change your light color and I'm just not seeing it or if that's going to be implemented later. Because obviously there's many updates to come with all this. There's still many creatures left to be, uh, there's still many creatures left to be added. And plus, oh god, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, we survived it. Holy crap. That's absolutely bananas. We just jumped from the top of the world and we only took about half damage. That's, that's good to know for sure. See, now what I'm really excited for, actually what I'm really excited for is a bunch of subscriber videos where we get a bunch of play as dino armies together. That sounds freaking hilarious. Definitely make sure to let me know down below if you guys would join in on that. Because obviously it'd be a public server where everyone's free to join and all that jazz. But, um, breeding, dude, breeding's gonna be hilarious. I think out of all the light pets, I'm most excited to play as the Lighthorn. I mean, the Bulldog's adorable and all, but I have, now I have a bull, Bulldog in my Anunnaki series, which is like a giant one of these, which I love to death. He's he's freaking awesome. But a, a glow tail, uh, no, a, a Lighthorn, Lighthorn, man, that little, that little dude would just be adorable. Eventually, they'll all be in here, and we'll just have subscribers forming little dens and packs and little caves and secret areas where they can fend for their own safety, as all different kinds of light pets, be like happy tree friends. It'll be a lot like Happy Tree Friends whenever a carnivore stumbles into there for sure. Okay, this is the kill. That's the dead, that's the dead bulldog. Why am I doing this? It's because there's no quicker way down here. No flipping away. We just pretty much skydived. Oh! Okay, well, I paused the split second poison hit me. Yeah, that's crazy. That was some good photography skills. No! God damn it! Ah! Being a bulldog is difficult! That's why you need many bulldogs to back you up everywhere you go and everything you do and all that jazz right there. Exactly. Dude, this is absolute bananas and I freaking love it. I'm, I'm spawning in the worst spot though, aren't I? I am. I'm just infinite food for these guys. Oh my god. Alright, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. If you guys had a good time watching, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace! It's time to get shifty and